All right, so let's uh, solve this, find the zeros of this polynomial, and they're giving us a complex zero. Okay, so I've, I've solved some polynomial functions. I found the zeros where they didn't give us a zero, when you had to figure it out using the p over q. So you can check those videos out if you need those. They're on my YouTube channel. But this one, they give us a complex zero. And we're going to use the uh, conjugate Paris theorem to do this, but in which it says that if a plus bi, if we have a complex number, and we know that this complex number is a zero to a polynomial, then its conjugate, a minus bi, is also a solution. <clears throat> okay, so you can see here we know that 3 minus 2i is a solution, so we also know that 3 plus 2i is a solution. All right, <clears throat> so let's use synthetic division to break this down. We're going to divide this into this. Uh, we're going to divide the zero into the polynomial. And so let's see, we've got 3 minus 2i. And I've got 2, negative 9, 7, 45, and negative 13. So remember how to do this. Bring the 2 down, and then I multiply. So 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4i. Or 2 times negative 2i is negative 4i. And then I add. So this is going to be negative 3 minus 4i. Remember, Negative 9 is negative 9 plus 0i. So there's my negative 3, and then 0 minus 4i is minus 4i. All right, <clears throat> now let's multiply these. Now what I would do is I would make sure that I multiplied these out by writing it out. Don't try to do it in your hand, I mean in your head. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So we multiply the first, that's negative 9, outside, that's negative 12i, inside, that's plus 6i, and then the last, so that's plus 8i squared. But remember, i squared is the same thing as 8 times negative 1, which would make this just minus 8. Okay. And so this would give me negative 17 minus 6i. Okay. So that would be minus negative 17 minus 6i. And then we would add, so that's going to be negative 10 minus 6i. Okay. Now let's erase this and multiply the next ones. So I've got 3 minus 2i times negative 10 minus 6i. <clears throat> so I multiply the outside, that's negative 30. Or multiply the first, then I multiply the outside, that's minus 18i. Multiply the inside, that's plus 20i. And then the last. So that's going to be plus 12i squared. So remember, a positive 12i squared, well, i squared is negative 1, so that's going to be minus 12. Okay, and I got off the screen a little bit there, but, okay. So that is going to give me negative 42 plus 2i. Okay, so that is negative 42 plus 2i. <clears throat> so let's let's add. So that's going to be 3 plus 2i. So now multiply these. So that's 3 plus 2i times 3 minus 2i. Well, remember here when you're multiplying, remember that little property or that little formula 
that says a plus bi times a minus bi is a squared plus b squared. So this will give me 3 squared plus 2 squared, which that's 9 plus 4, which is 13. And then you can see we get our 0. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> now if you don't, if you don't understand this formula, I mean, you should, if you're doing this, if you're solving polynomials like this. But if you don't, just fold it out like you did the other ones and you'll get the same thing. Okay. All right. So now basically what that does is now we have this. But remember, this breaks it down into x cubed and then x squared and then that would be times x and then your constant. So we still have a cubed. So we're going to need to break it down more. Okay. So now we need to do the synthetic division on this. So there's our 2, negative 3 minus 4i negative 10 minus 6i and 3 plus 2i and I'm going to do synthetic division on that well what are we going to divide with well 3 plus 2i okay because if they are telling me that 3 minus 2i is a solution then I know 3 plus 2i is also a solution and one thing that you can that you need to make sure of when you're doing this and you don't end up with a zero here then you made a mistake in here okay whenever you divide whenever you use synthetic division to divide this complex zero into the polynomial you have to get a zero because they're telling you it's a zero Okay, so if you don't get a zero, then you, you messed up somewhere. All right, so let's go ahead and do synthetic division here. So let's bring the 2 down, and then I multiply. So that's 6 plus 4i. Add, that gives me 3. The i's go out, and then I multiply. So that's 9 plus 6i. So that's what? Negative 1 and then I multiply so that's negative 3 minus 2i which that was 0 okay alright so there you go now you have a 2x squared plus 3x minus 1 okay we're breaking it down so there's a 0 see here's a 0 here's a 0 and now we can take this the 2x squared plus 3x minus 1 set it equal to 0 and solve. Well, let's see, it doesn't factor, so quadratic formula. So we've got x is equal to, remember that, negative b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. So that's negative 3 plus or minus square root. That's going to be what? 9 plus 8. So that's square root of 17 over 4. Okay. So there's your other solutions. So our solution to this problem is, well, the zeros that they gave us, 3 minus 2i and 3 plus 2i. So 3 plus or minus 2i and then this one negative 3 plus or minus square root of 17 over 4 all right so i hope that helped uh give me a like subscribe and share the video and thanks for watching